So, I don't want to scare anybody. Brave is a bird I am exceptionally wary of. He is, he is a little bit unafraid of us um, and a little bit like, well, I mean, he grabbed Vicky by the head when she was cleaning his cage. So, um, we have to be super careful training him. Um, you really have to watch his body language. You can see he's pretty eager right now, so I have to be careful about like him getting too excited and grabbing me. Um, I hear you. <laughs> and when it comes to eagles, if an eagle gets you, there is no taking his foot off. We're going to the hospital. So, uh, of all the birds like you want to be exceptionally careful with, it's these guys. Um, Darlene and I are pretty much the only ones that ever handle them. Um, when it comes to like having to pick one up for medical procedures. So just, you know, keep in mind that you want to be always very aware of all of the birds, but especially these guys. Cause once, if he latches onto anyone, Louise and I can't help you. Um, we pretty much have to wait out him letting go yeah. and hope that you're still conscious. Um, so I never, ever, ever want to be grabbed by this bird. And I don't want to have to like help another volunteer get <laughs> ungrabbed by this bird. So it is all preventative. Like every, everything is like watching body language, not doing anything stupid, moving slowly, respecting his face. Um, cause there's not much after the fact that I can do. Hi buddy. He is also, he used to come out of the cage for me. Um, he hasn't done that in a while. So we're going to see if he'll do it for me today. Ray, perch. Yep. Hi buddy. I'm just going to sit here and feed him. And you can see this is a little bit eager. This is a little bit grabby. He's anticipating food. Um, and so I do want to feed him up because I don't want him to be like this. Oops. Because it's fine if he grabs the glove with his beak. If he like gets snatchy with the glove, it's going to hurt. You want to chill for a sec? Calm down. Oh. And again, it's harder to predict when he's going to be like this because we're not getting weights on him. If I knew what weight he was at right now, I would say, okay, we don't want him to get down to this, so we need to up his food. Because he's just too dangerous when he's hungry. Exactly. They don't eat on Tuesdays. So it's Wednesday, and that's probably mm. a little bit of why he's like, I didn't get fed. <laughs> um, and we do give them a fast day to kind of help them reset. So like, these three get a fast day to help them reset. He kind of needs a fast day to help him reset. Um, I do think it makes him a little bit hungry, so I might have Andrea start offering him a little more food on Mondays. But you can also see this reset day kind of gave him a chance to get a little more motivated to come out. Um, I've also had days where I've like held a chunk of rat an inch from his face and he's been like, no, <laughs> don't want it. And I'm like, I'm, so at this point I'm, I'm seeing his range of behaviors. I know what they look like. It's just a matter of training him to get on the perch so we know. Okay. when it's going to be one and when it's going to be the other. And he hates that scale exactly because he gets on and it tips over. Yeah. And I have to put a hand down and try to hold it. It's a whole nervous experience for him. So I've kind of given, I'm taking a break from trying to get him on that scale because I have brought it over here, put it in the cage, put food on top and, been like, and held it down with another, like my right hand gloved and been like, okay, get on. But he's so antsy about it. Hungry? 
um, that like it, 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 he's so antsy about it that he like leaps onto it and it tips and it, or leaps off of it and like it's so much momentum I can't really hold it in place. And then it tips over and does exactly what he's afraid of, which is it falling out from underneath him. So this is a great experience for him because he's getting positive reinforcement being outside the cage uh, with other people around. But you'll notice he's not taking his focus off of me. He's like eagerly waiting. Um, he's a little less snatchy now that he's got some food in his stomach. Um, but you kind of want a little bit calmer than this. Still motivated, but a little bit calmer. Because um, when they're like this, that kind of anticipation, like amped up adrenaline, that's when it's like, okay, this feels a little dangerous. <laughs> This is better. This is like a, okay, there's food, um, and I want it. Just a second, be nice. He can't be. He's a good boy. Yeah? He's like, oh shit, I'm out of the cage. <laughs> stop training. Um, it's probably been a few months since he'd been in the training program. He was starting to get on the glove with me. Uh, it was a terrifying experience. He got startled when he I had him on the glove and picked him up. Um, and I like lifted him and he was standing on the glove and he like turned around and looked at me realized how close he was to me and bit like at my face. Ooh. And I was wearing a face mask so he yanked that um, and then he was like, he like leapt back into the cage and I was like, all right, we're not going to do that again for a while. Because <laughs> um, I don't want being on the glove to be like a startling oh shit moment for him. Right. I want it to be like a yeah, I know what's coming. We'll notice too, like a little less uh, motivated now, a little more like nervous. Hey, do you want this? Nope. What are you doing? What are you doing?
He's learning pretty fast. He's a smart bird. He says, I know. <laughs> not a big fan of the turnaround. I don't blame him, but he can do it in there. So, I'm, you know, I'm going to let him figure that out. Such a good boy. Look, I hate that box. <laughs> he keeps feeding me that box, and I hate that box. 